Hello, this is Merc from Prospect Studios, and this is the, uh, port forwarding tutorial that I promised <laughs> a while back. I know, it's been a really long time. So, um, let's just start, I guess. I'm not gonna be moving my browser around much, mainly because, um, the more steady it is, the easier it will be for me to block out my IP and stuff. So, before we can start pull forwarding, I think we should kind of learn what it is, and what it is, it's is uh, it's actually really complicated. So, I actually went to pourforward.com, and um, there was a ton of material there on how to pour forward, and there actually is. I don't know why I said it was, but I kind of made my own-ish definition, but before I actually made my definition, I actually wrote this really like two page uh thing so i think i'm just gonna speed read uh, that uh two page thing and then hopefully you could get some type of idea of what port forwarding is and then we could actually go ahead and actually port forward so i'm just gonna go ahead and read the concept of port forwarding is quite easy to grasp basically every device that is connected to the internet has an ip address note that there's two types of ip addresses one's an internal and another one is external. So what is an IP address? Well, it basically is a name and or ID for a computer. And yes, I just said it instead of its. Settle down. Um, okay, now most of you already know this, but as you're browsing the internet, your computer is transmitting and receiving data. That's where the ports come in. What's a port? A port allows an IP address and or a computer to receive and transmit data simultaneously. The dumbed-down version of what I just said is that it allows a computer to multitask on the internet. Note that a port can only be used by one program at a time. Now, by that I mean, for example, um, you have a Minecraft server. I keep using Minecraft as an example because it's the easiest one to actually host a server for. Um, and let's say it's using port X, right? Port X. So, basically, um, if you have two Minecraft servers that port X will go like port X times 2 or port X plus 1 in fact port X plus 1 would actually be a decent um, mathematical way of looking at it so it'll be like your IP address semicolon port in fact I should just make me a new text document to demonstrate this so um, right format font Loading, loading, loading. I don't know why it's taking so long. Uh, and there, we'll just use 72. So it'll be like IP address, semicolon. Um, let's say port, and then it'll be times one. No, no, plus one. And what I, what I'm trying to tell, <laughs> I mean, explain by that, is that uh. Um, if you have multiple servers that are using the same port, the server client tends to add a one at the end of the port. Like, not like it wouldn't go like, and this is the original um, Minecraft ports. It wouldn't go like two five five six five one. It would go like two five five six six because it adds a plus one at the end. So that's what I basically meant to say. That's just for some clarification so um where do we leave off so um <clears throat> let's jump into nat also known as network address translation all it does is it takes one ip address breaks it into many other ip addresses and is crucial if there's more than one device connected to the internet on a router so what exactly is port forwarding well i tried to imagine it as a massive seaport and um at the seaport there are many docks. However, in order for a boat to use a dock, the dock has to be open. For it to be open, the owner of the seaport has to grant permission. And um, now, I don't know if I went for it a little quickly. I'll have it on your screen around this time. And in that example, what I meant to say to that is uh, the seaport is a router, the docks were the ports, the boats were the devices, and the owner is the person enabling the ports. That was kind of my attempt on explaining, because 
like you could definitely go and uh, get a textbook definition but the textbook definition only ends you up with more questions so I tried to explain some of the questions on what I just said so now that we got that over with um, let's actually go and pour forward so um, we would go to what is my IP address or we let yeah yeah what's my IP dot com or what's my IP address dot com and once we are there we would uh, copy this long nice little IP you got here now you will you will not see anything here it'll just be fucking blocked and that is just cuz of my own safety we don't want people hacking me do we I, I, I don't want to be hacked hacking is bad and uh, um, you just copy and paste it on your address bar which is like where it says um, yes I was listening to elbow grants for divorce cuz it is it is the best song ever right where it says youtube.com so you just paste it there and it would bring you however that only works for like most of the routers unfortunately it doesn't work for mine so I would have to go to routerlogin.net and I don't know if this is for all Netgear routers but if it is I guess this is where you would go so once you're here you would be uh, prompted with this nice little window that would require shit for you to type in now, the, if you haven't done this prior, the most, like, the common username and password will be admin for username and password for password. What that basically means is that, well, no, that's basically the default username and password. So, uh, we'll just let this load while that's happening. I'll go here and get us a router list. Loading, loading, loading. I should. I'm just gonna grab a track. <laughs> grab a track. Grab a drink of water. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, um, now this is just for my router, which is a Netgear, and you kind of see the model number right there, WNR1000. This is how my um, GUI looks, I guess, for my router. Now. Not everyone has the same router, and that's where, like, the biggest problem comes in. So, um, I don't know. What do the Ryzen ones give you most of the time? Um, I don't know. Let's go use a Netgear. Oh, we don't want to use a Netgear. We already have one. So, yeah, let's just go use this random one. Whatever the hell it is. It says US Robotics, so it must be good. So you basically get this ad, you'd click skip ad. And then right here, you would uh, see a bunch of ports, like games you would want to port forward your router for. So I'm just gonna go and click Age of Empires 3, cause that game is definitely underestimated and no one gives it enough credit. And you could see that it's um, GUI is different than mine like in fact a lot different where, where mine is uh extremely user friendly so that's where you would go if you have no idea after you've gotten into the login screen now all that was basically like how to get here and what to do when you get here so let's actually port forward now remember how i said there's two types of ip addresses one's an external and the other one's an internal the internal one is assigned by the router and your computer. As you can see, all the numbers up to the last number will always stay the same except for the last number. So the 4 is my internal IP. Technically it's 192.168.1.4, but uh, you only need to know the last one. because. If you have a router or anything like mine, it'll tend to keep the like the digits in front of the last one the same. So right here, you probably see a shit ton of uh, what's names um, ports that I pre-configured. Notice how they're not all ported for me, except for the Borderlands one, because I was playing Borderlands earlier this morning. Awesome game. So. Yeah, that's basically it. So, you'd click one, 
and I would have a list of these servers, like, ports below, starting and end ports. Now, it doesn't need to be called start and end. It could be called, like, input, output, or, um, something else. Notice how there's a TCP and a UDP. For Minecraft, it uses UDP, so, basically it. So, well, I mean, it uses both, so I put TCP and or UDP. Now, there's a... You could get a lot of these ports from portforward.com, but if you can't find any, they're always below. And I'll probably have, like, Killing Floor, Borderlands, Minecraft, and um, Half-Life 2 ports there. Notice how... Hmm. Should I say it? Yeah. I guess I should. So, note that all the Half-Life 2 ports, as soon as you port forward them, notice how I have three. Um, you're probably like, what the fuck? Half-Life 21? Not really. See, Half-Life 2, 1. It's not a 21, it's a 1. After the 2. And there's three ports for it. I went lazy and port forward a bunch. Like, technically, there would be uh, more ports, but I just skipped a couple and port forward them. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it could kind of not work out to your benefit after a while. And, um, yeah, once you have that, you'd go to your IP address, you'd copy it, right? We'd go to here, we'd paste, and then we would plug the port in. So, for Minecraft, it's 25565, and once you've gotten that, you just send that to a friend, and they would be able to connect. Now, there's a ton of more Minecraft like mods and stuff. I don't know why I'm talking about Minecraft here. And yes, that is Sports Illustrated. Because I am a man and not a woman. Not that woman, though. Look at that stuff, but never mind. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and check out my gaming channel because Portal 2 does come out soon. And I'll have Portal 2 gameplay there. In fact, I might just do some killing floor today. And um, make sure you subscribe because I actually did take my to making this tutorial and if that's not enough um what else right subscribe no, that's basically it right if you have a tutorial request it below as that will kind of give me a idea of what I'll do over the vacation so you know just uh need to know something just write it down I'll be more than happy to help and yes, I am using Sony Vegas.